Hey guys, this is Scope, and we're back with more Pokemon Soul Silver. Um. Anyways, in the last episode, we got 15 of the 16 gym leader phone numbers, and the last one we have left to get is Blue's phone number. Now, Blue's phone number is a little complicated. Basically, he never leaves his gym just like Chuck. What you have to do is you have to come to his house here in Pallet Town. Um. So this one, the one on the right, is his house, right next to Red's house, and in here is his sister Daisy. Now, his sister Daisy will massage your Pokemon for you anytime between 3 and 4 p.m., but you can only do it once a day, one Pokemon a day. And fast-forwarding the time in your DS clock will not work. You actually, they, they, you can't do it. You have to wait 24 hours, like for reals, for her to massage again. So. You have to get your Pokemon massaged five times in a row by her. Five days in a row. Or not five days in a row, but five days total. Once you do that, then you need to show her a Pokemon with full happiness. Uh, one of your Pokemon. And then once you do that, she will give you Gary, or, sorry, Blue's phone number. <clears throat> and then once you do that, then you can call Blue on Sunday night and he will rematch you. Uh, his Pokemon consists of a level 69 Machamp. A level 68 Arcanine, a level 67 Executor, a level 70 Rhyperior, a level 70 Tyranitar, and a level 72 Pidgeot. So, he's probably about the third strongest trainer in the game, aside from the rematch with Lance and the rematch with, or the regular match with the Bread. So, um, we'll probably fight him but we're not going to do that right now because I've only had her massage my Pokemon once and uh, all the other days I've been forgetting to do it so hopefully between episodes I'll be getting that done every day and uh, eventually we'll come back get his phone number and battle him. But anyway, we spent enough time here so now what we're going to do instead of getting the rest of the gym getting his phone number since we're pretty much done with that, our next order of business is we've got a few more legendaries still left to capture. I know, we've caught a lot of them but there's still more! So we're gonna fly to uh, the Indigo Plateau so that we can fly anywhere. Right, 26 rather. Let's get some more owl action and we are going to fly to... Ecuratique City! That's right, so I bet you can't guess who I'm going after. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. So basically now we're gonna go after Ho-Oh who is the level 70 legendary, the opposite bird from Heart Gold. Um, of course, if you were playing Heart Gold right now, this would be Lugia you were going after in the World Islands. So talk to the monk right here, and he'll let you through because you have Ecuratique's gym badge. Alright. So then we continue through this uh, little place. And then we come right here to, I believe this is called a... Uh, it's something like Gold Forest Road or something. Anyway, this is where you'd find... Oh, is there something up here? Oh, anyway. This is where you find Morty. This is where we got his phone number. Anyway, and then you come up here to Tin Tower. So this is Tin Tower. Pretty, huh? Yeah. Anyway, you can come in here pretty early, but this guy will not let you pass unless you have the clear bell. Or the rainbow wing, I'm sorry. And as you know, we got the Rainbow Wing from the man in Pewter City. So we can continue on through Tin Tower. So as soon as you get that wing, you can come here. But we didn't come here before because our Pokemon were not even close to level 70. So we didn't really have a chance at fighting Ho-Oh. Okay, I'm going to be looking at this quite weird so I can see what I'm doing. There's a glare on the screen for me. Alright, so this is just a little jumping maze, same as in Golden So I mean, it's not the exact same, but it's it's uh, pretty much the same concept. It's not too hard. Alright, so right here, hmm, let's try going to this little middle platform first. Ooh, there's an item over there. Oh, nope, that's not what you gotta do. You don't have to go up here, right? No, I don't think so. No, that'll take us back there. Oh, no. Yeah, there are random encounters in here, but they're very, very, you know, um, few and far in between. It's just Raditas and Gastlys. But, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, you could put a repel up if you want. I guess I'll put one up. I mean, it doesn't really matter. 
just for the sake of saving video time. But if I was in here, like, you know, just playing, then I would, wouldn't really worry about it. Anyway, we get down to this middle platform, but what do we have here? We have an item. Get item. Alright, what's down here? I don't know, an exit. I don't want to go down. Oh, cool, an item. Nice. Alright, moving on. Oh, what is this crazy shenanigans? Boom, 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 boom. I guess that's the only way to get to that item there, too. Quite a few items in here. Alright, let's move on. Okay, this is not the way we're supposed to go because there's nothing we can do up here. That's the next floor we need to get to, but that's not the way we want to get there. Alright, so let's go back here. I believe this is the right way to go right here. This ladder we came to earlier. Now, the problem is going the right way on this floor. Hmm, let's try this. And then we'll go down. We don't want to go to the middle floor, or do we? That's where we went last time, right? Let's try going down here. Hmm, the choices. Yes, I believe this is where we want to go, right here. Ah, uh, yes, this is where we want to be. Yeah, cool. It's cool here, because when you're in here, too, you can hear the creaking of the wood from this little panel in the middle. Anyway, so this is the way you're going to want to go. Oh, well, no, I want that item, damn it. I want the item. Yay! Okay. Well, shit, so where do I go now? Do I go to this ladder? Oh, yeah, because I came from down there. Okay, that's right. Right, 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 right. I got you. Oh, no, repels effect wore off. Well, use another one, dag nabbit. No, don't use two. That would be pointless and stupid. All right, now we come to the teleport pads, the room with the teleport pads and the stairs, so things get even a little more intricate now. Dude, who would be calling me out of time like this, man? I'm busy. I can catch a legendary Pokemon here. Jeez. I believe you go to this one. The farthest one you can go to. Right. Okay, so let's skip that one. Oh, no. Well, I guess not. Step on the teleport pad now. Oh, no, we're already at seven minutes. And we get an item. And look, the Ho-Oh statues are reappearing. Here they are. They were at the bottom, and now they're here. So we must be getting very close. Alright, another bridge, another warp point, and an item. Yeah, this place is just filled with goodies. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright, let's go to the teleport pad. Saw another item down there, too. I know I missed at least two. Alright, so let's go up the ladder. Oh no, I think we're at the top. Well, let's save just to be safe. <clears throat> oh man, the camera is sideways. Why didn't you guys tell me? Okay, and we finally saved. Let's go up the ladder. Yay. Oh, oh my god. And uh, actually in Heart Gold, you get a really cool scene up here with the Kimono Girls, just like you do in Soul Silver when you go to the World Islands. That when Ho-Oh appears, it shows him flying around the... Uh... Oh my god, I still got Pikachu on my party. That's bullshit. Um, anyway, shows him flying around the thingy and whatnot. Um, we're going to switch Al out in front. And uh, in Heart Gold, just the same. When you go to the World Islands, you don't get the cutscene you get with the Kimono Girls. It's version exclusive. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Oh no, we're at nine minutes. That means we're not going to get to the ho -Oh fight in this video. Mm, yeah, well, I guess I'll cut it here. See you guys next time.